tomorrow's headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It's Tuesday, August 14th, 2018. I'm Kurt Lipke with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of stories that you can find in tomorrow's edition of the Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. A Klamath County court case believed to impact both endangered Lost River and short-nosed suckers and that could impact the outcome of irrigation season in the Klamath Basin has been moved from San Francisco to Portland at a to-be-determined date. Judge Michael Mossman will preside over the case at the U.S. Courthouse in Portland, which involves the Klamath Tribes, Klamath Water Users Association, and Sunnyside Irrigation District. On Monday, nearly 300 people showed up at the Ella Redke Pool thanks to a reduction in air pollution allowing the only year-round outdoor public pool in the region to once again welcome guests for a full day, a rare treat this summer due to air quality. The pool continues to receive funding through the city in addition to special projects and grants funded through the help of Friends of the Ella Redke Pool. In the past year, the group helped work toward a $25,000 grant for new lane lines, a pool vacuum, and other improvements. And Brielle George, Ella Redke Pool's newest supervisor, wants to get more people out to the pool even after summer ends. Though summer operating hours have been a bit restricted, George hopes to find ways to get more programs going during the fall and winter months. State figures show that fewer than 60% of students who graduated from Oregon public high schools in 2015 went on to college, according to the Oregonian. Even at high schools serving large communities, more than a third of grads didn't enroll even part-time in a community college. Among high schools with 300 students or more, Klamath County earned the dubious distinction of being rated lowest in the state thanks to Mazama High School having only 22.1% of graduates being college-bound. In contrast, the highest-rated school was International School of Beaverton, with 92.2% of grads headed to college. Wednesday at noon marks the opening of ticket sales for individual events at the Ross Raglan Theater for the upcoming season. Tickets can be purchased at the box office or by calling 541-883-LIVE, L-I-V-E. Highlights of the announced schedule include country star Josh Turner on September 9th, multiple tribute acts playing the classic songs of ZZ Top, Foreigner, and Styx, legacy artist Richard Marks, the Eugene Ballet performing the Nutcracker, and much more. New this year is the RDX system, or Ragland Digital Experience, a new state-of-the-art digital video and audio system that will allow screening of films, live streaming of concerts, and special showings of Broadway plays and more. First up on the RDX is a screening of a documentary titled Deconstructing the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper, which delves into the creativity and story behind the iconic band and their legendary masterpiece album. That film will be shown on RDX on August 25th. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in the Thursday, August 15th Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and Google Play. Be sure to check back each day for the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news impacting the Klamath Basin, and thanks for listening.